Hello, welcome back to Minecraft. This is episode 20. So that marks just one day left until I leave for Canada, so that's gonna be pretty fun. One thing I noticed is that I said I, I named the series like like 20 days until college or something, but I kept forgetting that <laughs> I'm not actually going to college tomorrow. I'm I'm going to Canada tomorrow. College starts like a week after that, so the series is kind of misleading, but it's okay. It is what it is. Now, I think I'm gonna make a pumpkin farm. Because that's why I took the pumpkins out last time. To help me remember. And I kinda... I hope I still remember how to make these. I can make them all in the seeds. We don't need them right now. The new shoes. And also for today's topic, I wanted to uh, talk about my daily routine. And I think that's something I need to sleep. I think that's something that I didn't really talk about a lot. I talked about all of these things about like random parts of my life that I'm beginning to run out of topic ideas. But I noticed that the one thing I didn't talk about is what I do in my everyday day-to-day -day life. Not focused on any specific topic, but just in general what I do in a day. These be these bees better not be drowning. Like, like what are you doing? Like, you mean they're not stuck. And meanwhile, I'm gonna be building a, building a pumpkin farm, and then I'll see what else there is to do. So let's get my hoe out, and then make another one because that's gonna break. I guess I'll build it like. Pretty close to the other farm, so right here, where all these trees- I'll cut the other trees first. So anyway, let's see. My daily routine mostly consists of a morning routine, because I'm a very morning person. I like to finish my things to do like really early, especially the ones that require some deep concentration. I like to get those out of the way first thing in the morning, right? Um, and in the nighttime, I do still have somewhat of routine, like I keep a schedule and follow it. But it depends because sometimes I sometimes I arrange to meet people in the in the afternoon to the night time. Like today during night time, I'm in like five or six hours. I'm gonna be outside eating dinner with my friends. One last time before I leave to Canada. And yeah, that that kind of thing. Like so during the morning, no one no one meets to play in the morning, right? So it's like it's like the perfect time to work, get stuff done. It's kind of my mindset behind why I do stuff in the morning. Why did I make it like it's like impossible to split this farm into thirds? Yeah, okay, whatever. So let's fill this. Actually, instead of filling that, let's we'll make this pumpkin farm. So, anyways, let's start from my. <clears throat> I I actually have quite a history with my morning routines. It wasn't always like this. In fact, it used to be much more. In, when I was back in high school, it used to be much more chaotic because you know how like before I decided to turn my life around around 2020, early 2023 I didn't have any sort of a routine whatsoever like I was just uh, doing what I felt like doing just waking up early in time to get dressed and then go to school which was fine because I lived like literally right next to school so it didn't really matter when I woke up but still, I'm so glad that I decided to be more organized because I could keep like a morning routine properly, right? Okay, start by putting the fences down. I keep building like a... Actually, actually... Maybe we'll just build one here. Yeah, just right here. Okay, so <clears throat> what I decided to do, like one of the first things I decided to do is wake up really early. So before my routines, I used to wake up at like 7 a.m., 7, 15 a.m., eat breakfast, get dressed, and just leave for school because the school started at 8, 15 or 8, 20, something like that. And I was feeling really groggy and tired <laughs> after I noticed I was feeling that way. 
which is like a sign that it was not really working. decided to do to start waking up even earlier is actually wake up at like 5 a.m. and and since I was obsessed with you know I was back in high school right I had to do a lot of studying for my IB classes but mostly mass so what I would do in the morning is wake up and study my daily hour of mass before it was time to actually wake up I know it's, it's kind of crazy but like sometimes like there were times that I would just not do it and do something else instead so for example, I could like, you know, I could just like stay up and self-study for any other subject, of course. But I decided to study mass. In my mass video, in my video that I published on my mass channel, I, I I recently uploaded a new one. It's called "It's a Complete Guide for Getting a Seven in IB Mass HL." And one of the key points that I mentioned is that you have to be doing a consistent daily review, right? And I noticed that when I was only like I was sticking to doing that only during like when I was come like after right after I came back home from school sometimes I would be feeling too groggy and maybe distressed to actually do the work and this is of course before I started to adopt my like you know get a better mentality system so I was struggling I, 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 can, I, can, I can do it now of course but back then it was I was really hard it was really hard for me to like focus So I was studying mass in the morning when there were literally no distractions. It was like the best idea ever. The crafting table. Oh, there it is. But as I got more hobbies and got more into school, started seeing my grades get better, I started to take on more difficult challenges such as, you know, studying Japanese in the morning as well. Self-studying for other um, topics. So for example, when I was in grade 12, I did, I had a pretty complicated routine at this point. And this is still like a historical routine. I don't do this anymore because I finished school. I finished high school at least. So I don't need to do this anymore, but I would self-study for topics. So in my mass video that I published yesterday, I mentioned how it's really useful to have preparation notes already set up for the next unit, right? And that goes for literally any of my classes that has like a syllabus. And one of those top, one of those classes that had, um, I, that had a really high subject count and topic list was chemistry. For the twenty twenty four syllabus that just ended with my cohort, um, we have to, we have to learn twenty one different topics at the a higher level as way as well as a, an option topic. So. There was so much to study, and of course, with all the, the teacher changing stuff, and and the teachers not being extremely ideal with the progression and the pace, I had to self-study by myself in order to actually learn everything, because some I mean, some people gave up, and some people did not really care because they already got into the university. I wanted to finish strong, so I decided to wake up every morning at like 5 a.m., study Japanese, and then study for, actually study chemistry, and then study Japanese. And by studying, I just meant like, like preparing for my sessions. Preparing by taking those notes ahead of time, watching videos from MSJ Chem. Yeah, that's basically all I did. And it works out. Like it turned out that after I started using my preparation notes for every class, I retained the information so much better. It was just hold up. I'm stupid, but it, it was just so much easier to retain information when the teacher told it. So learning organic chemistry was much easier than it used to be. I need more slabs. So 
yeah, that, that part of my morning, morning routine really worked out for me. And as for studying Japanese, what I would do is... Hold on. How did I place it on the bot, on the top half? Did I place it on the first? Okay, interesting. So the thing about studying Japanese is that I started st studying Japanese at March 2023. That's when I first actually learned hiragana. Although I put it off for like two months after that, but I returned to it to um, return to studying Japanese in grade 12. Like I had this Japanese book that I bought over the summer between grade 11 and 12 to enhance my studying and I actually started to use it. Like I started to actually use it a lot when November to December came around. Even though I was like really busy with my senior year, I decided to, I decided to do it anyway, so. And I, I can see that it was um, the morning time, like the early morning time, around 5 to 6 a.m. was a really good time for me to study the language because there were no distractions and I didn't have to worry about school or anything at that time. Yeah, so at grade 12, to summarize, my morning routine was wake up at a very early time, around 4 to 5 a.m. But I eventually ended up changing it to 4 a.m. because I wanted to, well, you'll see later, but I changed it to 4 a.m. for a very specific reason. So I wake up at 4 a.m. and then study uh study like chemistry for an hour so like four to five a.m <clears throat> and that'll get me through like two to three subtopics because i because i tried my best to understand most things i think i need to separate my chests for plants as, as well And then from five to and then from five to around six a.m. I would. <clears throat> what was it? Oh yeah, I I would um. Study Japanese for an hour. And then. Once I finished doing that, it would be around six to six fifteen a.m. Right. So at this point, I would I would be like, okay, well now it's time to, go to go back to bed actually. Now this is the kind of controversial part. Especially my parents, they didn't like the idea of me, like, they liked the idea of me waking up early, of course, but they didn't really enjoy, like, me having to go back to bed to recharge. Because the thing about me is that I really like webtoons. And for those of you, those of you that don't know, it's basically, like, Korean uh, cartoons that you read online. That's what I call webtoons. They're on, they're on the web. But I really like reading those. To this day, I still read them daily in my free time. So that's why my parents were like, if you're gonna read webtoons, you should like, you know, read them in the afternoon or something. Because what I would do is I would read the webtoons in the like in the morning between six fifteen a.m. to seven a.m. So like I spent like thirty minutes reading webtoons, and then I turned off my phone and then I closed my eyes again. And I know that's not the healthiest thing, but it's it's it made me happy. It's what I did. So it kind it kind of also motivated me to wake up earlier. And this, and because of that, my morning schedule was actually incredibly packed. No matter how early I woke up, like, even though it's like four a.m., I actually found myself using all of that time for something useful. I don't know if that's called Parkinson's law or whatever, but it's 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 seeming to work. Like <laughs> I thought I had time, but I don't. So when I finished, so when I finished reading the webtoons, and then I woke up, it was like six thirty. Or, yeah, it, no, six. 30 to 40 a.m. And then with that remaining time, I could do what I wanted. I could like check my social media finally. I could reply to my messages, scroll some reels. But I always, but I did try to get like at least five to six, not five, five to 15 minutes of rest because I wanted to recharge before school started because I had to eat breakfast at like 7, 10 to 7, 15. So that's when I told my parents, can you please wake me up around this time? Because that way I can wake up, go to school around that time. And then I, I could eat breakfast around that time, and after I got dressed and ready to leave for school, it'd be like seven forty, and then I get and then I'll get to school, and I'll still be like the earliest one there because everyone has senior writers, and no one wanted to go to school on time anymore. So when I got to school, it was like when I arrived there it was like seven fifty five to eight because my school was ridiculously close to my house. Yeah, I was, I was the first one there, so my morning routine kind of worked for me at that time. I could wake up early, get some studying done right away. Get my Japanese done as a hobby right away. 
if I wanted to, I'll practice piano for band or orchestra or whatever, but you know, you can't play instruments in the morning when everyone's sleeping upstairs. I mean, downstairs, yeah. I don't, yeah. Friendly creatures are still off? When did I turn that on? When did I turn that off? When? Yeah, but the reason I, I, I just really needed that extra 15 minutes of sleep between like 6.45 to 7 a.m. because I felt like otherwise my body would not really function properly in school. I was scared. I actually never tested it out. So I never knew if, like, because I've heard online that your body is stronger than you think. Even if it's like kind of like hard to get through a day, it will make you do it because it knows, the school, it knows that school is important even if you don't think so. So I don't know. It's kind of difficult, but... <clears throat> I'm gonna split them to thirds properly this time. Or the crap. Can't believe I didn't think of this. I keep thinking my pickaxe is fortune, so I keep switching to it to break with the crops, but it doesn't. Still hate beat witch by the way. Like they're not good. They're not good in real life. They're not good in Minecraft. They barely recharge your hunger bar at all. It's half, half a chicken. Okay. So yeah. Anyway, that's what I did every morning for basically my entire senior year. Like I adopted this. I think I fully adopted this morning routine around uh, December, yeah, that's when I fully, no, October to November, right, during my English I.O. period, during my mock exams, I woke up at 4 a.m. to 5 a.m. every single day. O obviously on the day, you know, on the day of the I.O., I didn't wake up at that time because I had to do my I.O. at like 10 a.m. and that would have killed me inside, so I woke up at like 5.30 a.m., a bit later than usual for that day. I just learned that pre prepping yourself the night before is really useful because your brain that way remembers the stuff when you sleep through a deep breath. So, yes. Anyways, in the past, yeah, that, that's what I've been doing for my, my entire senior year, even all the way through my final exams. And the funny thing is, people are always like, how do you wake up so early? You're getting like no sleep, isn't that bad for you or whatever? And then some people are, are like jealous that I get all my stuff done that early. And I'm like, it's not like, I mean, the funny thing is they can do it too. Like no one's stopping them from doing it, but their, their own mentality, right? So I say, I actually encourage them to like give it a try. I don't know if anyone did, but well, it doesn't matter to me. So, <clears throat> well, this, this will be fun. Oh wait, I have silk touch, I keep forgetting. I'll just steal this beehive and move it over to my house. So, I think I should also mention my night routine around this time. So, this was, keep in mind that all of this I'm talking about is still when I was in school. So, this video is kind of split up into two sections. The first one is my morning routine, I mean my daily routine when I was still in school, and the second part is when I was not in school. And they're kind of different, like they're really different. Especially because I started to learn how to like be 10 times more productive even than what even compared to when I was in school. So yeah, it's, it, it's changed a lot. But let's talk about what I did in the night times. So if school finished around 3.30, so I usually would go to a cafe and do work. There's a pretty good uh, cafe right next to my house that I decided to use right across the street from the school. I decided to use that. And I need blocks. I need golden armor. Yeah, golden armor. <clears throat> yeah, 
so it was like it was around so no no like, yeah 3 30 when i'll finish school i was working at cafe until like five because i had a lot of stuff to do during senior year right i have to write my university essays and all that but the good thing is i had a lot of friends so i decided to study with my friends a lot and that really helped my overall mentality a lot in my opinion <clears throat> got me through a lot of the studying especially and i'm going to the nether because i want to inject my golden boots because frost walker is not going to do anything in the nether except this that i keep forgetting about but yeah anyways <clears throat> when i finished studying like usually i would eat dinner with my friends so not gonna lie i did spend a lot of money on you know getting food with my friends during my senior year but it's my last year i had to make it count i <clears throat> i was also on the side that didn't really eat food because while most of my friends were eating outside for lunch during the senior year like literally every day even though we were allowed to i would usually pack food from home and eat during the dinner instead so pretty that is uh, pretty much but overall, I was on the side of not eating as much as some other people, and therefore spending a bit less money. But <clears throat> either way, I had, f I, I, I think that time was all very well spent, so what can you say? What should I do? Anyways, when, when I'll finish that and get home, it'll be like 7pm. If I had band after school, then I would not eat with my friends, and just go straight to band. So when I finish that, it'll be like anywhere between 8 to 10pm because band practices were pretty flexible <laughs> anyways um when i got home it'll be pretty late in the night <clears throat> when i had band practice so i'll just usually just go straight to sleep unless i had like a really important assessment the next day but on most days i'll get home around 7 p.m or so so i'll say hi to my parents who were probably eating dinner at that time and then i would go and start my work so the, the thing I did at home during the night time really depended on like, you know, what I had to, like, what I had to get done, like any tests were coming up or whatever. So I decided to work on my, like, for example, if it was in like an IA and I would work on my IA for like an hour for a set period of time. And then <clears throat> after getting that, I don't know how I did that. So after getting that out of the way, I would... I'll just immediately go back to sleep. Because <laughs> I think I was the person who finished my work really early compared to other people. And that's all about being consistent. Like, I worked on it for like an... I worked on my work for every single day for like an hour or so. Except the extended essay, which I worked on every week or so. But still, it's consistency, right? I was following my teacher's advice and it worked. I was able to finish my extended essay with a decent grade. But just by working on it every single Saturday for an hour or two, if I felt like it. But yeah, the point is, I would work basically no longer than an hour to two hours on my work every single day after, like, getting home from my studying. Of course, the studying done at the cafe doesn't count because <clears throat> that can be as flexible as I want it to be. But I usually also kept that to one to two hours, and I would constantly be distracted because I was talking with my friends while studying. So, if I wanted to get you know actually deep work done, it wasn't really the place to do so. So if I had like an English I/O the next day or a Chinese I/O the next day, I would either study in a cafe alone or go home and study because I knew once I met my friends that I would be getting basically minimal work done so if it's something like as minimal as you know doing mass class papers something that I'm really pretty proficient at and I can do it with my you know one eye open then then it's okay to eat dinner with my friends so my routine basically was my afternoon routine was pretty flexible around that point and then this is the part that shocks people the most for some reason I didn't think it was that big of a deal when it told them, but, but apparently it is. I go to bed at around, oh, at that time, I went to bed around 9 p.m. Anywhere between 9 to 10, depending on how many reels I wanted to watch. I know it's not the best idea to watch reels right before bed, but I barely had any free time back then, so. I'm not gonna watch reels while I'm studying. <laughs> I forgot to mention, I go, I did go to the gym but not as consistently as now like nowadays i go like every single day but uh this time i went like back then during school i was pretty busy right and i didn't really have an idea of being consistent and productive so even though people always called me productive i was secretly not i i didn't show it to anyone because you know that would just harm my mentality but overall i wanted to be even more productive than i already was i wanted to be able to go to the gym every single day i wanted to 
be even more consistent and get even better grades than I already was. So yeah, going to the gym, basically I did that like two to three times a week. That was my goal back then. And at least I followed that most of the time. I was kind of forced to as well, it was, it was part of my class experiences. It's like a free activity experience if you if you live near a gym and you're already or you're already doing a gym plan, it's like a free class experience. And I'm gonna have to look for even more obscure places for corpse. back to the point the shocking fact that i go to bed at 9 p.m and this is because i i mentioned at the very beginning of this video i wake up at 4 to 5 a.m so to match that i want to go to sleep early because i told you i'm a morning person in the nighttime when it becomes too dark i usually play genshin impact i can't like get any actual work done so i stick to gaming or playing minecraft or playing bad wars during the weekend with my friend that i told you about in like the third episode of this series i i play games or play projects that kind. I don't do any studying. I used to do it when I was like mentally not that stable, but nowadays I don't do that because I wanted to have a more healthier sleep schedule. I don't sleep at 2 a.m. anymore every single day. <clears throat> but somehow, miraculously, even though I don't pull all-nighters, the level of work that I have to do hasn't changed. In fact, I've been even more productive because I sleep more hours a day than the average in my grade. I, I hear people always saying that I didn't sleep at all last night and, and of course I don't say anything out loud but in my head I'm wondering why not just like why not just get the work done at like a designated time, like schedule a time whether it be morning or afternoon or night just schedule a time to do it and actually do it instead of procrastinating or cramming it but obviously saying that out loud wouldn't be you know too good right I'm not supposed to like care so but that's that, I, I always wondered that in secret, and I can say it here because this is completely anonymous. But yeah, I, I slept at 9 and then it woke up around 4 to 5. Meaning I'll be getting like 7 to 8 hours of sleep, which is the recommended um, hours of sleep for people my age. I wanted to sleep more of course sometimes, sometimes I felt like not waking up. And sometimes I did actually not wake up, like I was too tired from the day before, maybe I was like I had such a good time eating dinner, or maybe I had a very stressful test that just got over, so I had like a really deep sleep. But, like 85% of the time, I would wake up at 4am every single day and get my daily studying, my daily Japanese done. Kind of like they were daily quests or something. Speaking of daily quests, I would also open Genshin Impact at around 5am every single day. Like, it was like a break between my chemistry studying, or math studying, or whatever I decided to study at the time. It was a break between that and... Uh, my Japanese, so I would like do my Genshin daily quests, which would take like four to five minutes. Hope no one cares that the Genshin Impact play. I know it's like stereotypical that only like degenerates play it, but I enjoy playing it. It's fine. I don't think I'm into like, degenerate. Um, I <clears throat> let's see. Yeah, that's pretty much it for my like daily routine for when I was back in high school senior year, and before high school senior year, like. In junior year, second semester, I kind of adopted that routine. But before that, I had no routine whatsoever. I just slept and wake up when I felt like it, do my homework when I felt like it. And of course, my grades were sloppy, so I think that's made for itself. Why well, shouldn't be going back to that? But either way, let's move on to the second part of this video where I discuss my actual routine that I adopt to this present day. So I started adopting this routine. Like, there, it wasn't like immediately I started to adopt this routine. It, there was like a transition period because let me start from this. Once school ended, that was around... Yeah, school ended around the end of May. The IB exams ended around the middle of May, and then I did nothing for like the, the, the next two weeks. But school around that ended around that time for me, right? I had nothing to do. I was... I didn't have to do my 4 a.m. daily studying for chemistry anymore, right? Sweet. No, I that. I should switch my looting sword after I keep. Yeah, I should do that. I keep forgetting. <clears throat> but yeah. My. Uh, my day daily. 
routine at, right after I finished like my high school life for or temporarily around May is that <laughs> I didn't have a reason to wake up at 4 a.m. anymore, so I decided to sleep a bit more. I slept in. I woke up around 6 to 7 a.m. And some people still think I'm crazy for that. Some people are like, why are you waking up so early still? Like, people are like, people around me are waking up at like 10 to 11 p.m. constantly. And I'm just like, I'm just so used to it that I think 7, even 8 a.m. is like such an early time for me to wake up nowadays. I just think that way. Because it's been burned into me ever since that I took the IV. But hey, I, I, I got 7 hours of sleep a day in the IV and I still passed with good grades, so it's definitely possible. But yeah. <laughs> the ice still here. It's about to regenerate. Oh, that's crazy. In, in, I actually want to keep the frost walker on these things. There's no point having Depth Strider in the nether. I would have my original boots for that. Oh, it's Depth Strider 2. Oh, that sucks. And of course, I would still study Japanese. The thing is, during the IB exams, I could not study Japanese. Like, I kept my other routines the same, like, I actually spent an extra hour studying for other things instead of... And actually, I would actually end up sleeping an extra hour because I felt like if I didn't have the time to study Japanese, then it would, it would be kind of pointless waking up at 4 a.m. every single day because I could wake up at 5 a.m., get the same amount of studying done, but just not study Japanese, so that's what I decided to do. Yeah, so I forgot to mention this, but during the May exam season, I decided to wake up at 5 a.m. instead of 4 a.m. every single day. And I still got the same amount of studying done, like an hour every day. And therefore, I wouldn't be too tired for my afternoon exams, right? So it all worked, all worked out. But let's see, in... Actually, I want to enchant this first. Uh, do I actually? That's pretty good. I want to disenchant this actually. I want to make a new one for that. Yeah, so I'll combine these. And I'll combine these. Sorry. I wanna go exploring again, so I'll do that. I'll take my bed with me. So anyways, I didn't go back in that direction before, so let's do that. Yeah, so I can actually talk about my routine now. So, around, <clears throat> I, I think after the IV exams, I still woke up at 5 a.m. every single day. I actually started to study Japanese again. So most of my time that I originally spent studying was spent on studying Japanese instead. So I could like actually get some real progress done. I, I almost, yeah, I basically didn't study Japanese for like three weeks because of exams, right? So I could catch up on all of that and actually do it consistently every single day. So basically I could incorporate the Japanese fully into my daily routine instead of just like partially. <clears throat> And eventually I finished my Japanese book that I bought that summer after like, you know, almost a year later. And then when I got the second one, it was like, and then when I got the second one, it was, yeah, I got the second one this summer. So like three months later. So yeah, I can definitely continue studying Japanese in college. Now in, yeah, I can go to right now. I, I prepared everything for tomorrow's Ender Dragon fight. But overall, like, in, I think in like, I, I, I was very unproductive. Like, I, 
I should have went to the gym much more often than I did back then from May to July because I had no exams, right? I was basically spending a lot of time having fun with my friends going on that trip that I talked about in like the fourth or fifth episode. Like going on the trip to Busan with my friends, going to other provinces other than Seoul and overall just having fun. But yeah, I was enjoying that too much to go to the gym every single day. But of course, I, I think I talked about this. When I came back from the trip to Busan, I realized that I wanted to take even more control of my life in an even better way. So I did that by... Um, I have looting now. I forgot, I forgot to lose, use looting. There we go. More feathers. So anyway, yeah, I... I decided to... Actually go to the gym every single day, and that's... As soon as I came back from the trip from Busan. So after that trip, I began to be much more disciplined and much more productive. I would even argue that right now I am... Like, I'm extremely busy. Of course, not in, like, a really bad way. Like, I don't... I'm not studying. I'm, or not, I'm not forcing myself to make content or anything I don't want to make. I enjoy making this type of content. It's pretty chill, and especially because it doesn't, doesn't have anything to do with the IB. So, but I mean busy as in terms of taking up a lot of time. You see, the routine that I adopted for myself after this many... Like, this many months of not doing the IB and being free has made me realize that even though high school may be over, there's still so much to do in order to take full control of your life and make it, you know, your own life, right? So let me take this as an example. I, <clears throat> going to the gym every single day, that's something I never used to do. Never. Like, I never went to the gym every single day before this point. I would go like two to three days a week or something like that, right? I talked about that. But it turns out that <clears throat> once I started doing that, so many things changed. And I really began to see the meaning of why consistency is so important. I think that's a perfect transition into my my current my actual current daily routine apart from the one that i like you know didn't really do during that during the first few weeks of finishing the ib so yeah this this routine is what started around middle of september middle of july not september what am i saying it's not in september yet middle of july so around the middle of july i <coughs> Yeah, I, I adopted my system. I got uh, inspired by June Yu's videos to make June Yu's videos to make a very good system of living my life daily using the three, the four wind system and spider spider. What the heck? I want to climb that mountain for fun. Maybe there's something up there. Four pieces of leather from one count. Okay. So yeah, let me actually explain that routine. I don't have infinite time here, so I just stopped getting tra sidetracked. I don't wake up at 4 a.m. anymore for the for starters. Because I don't just study early in the morning because I don't have a school to go to, right? I can wake up and study whenever I want. At least until the college starts. Just as a side note, I'm planning to start waking up at 5 a.m. every every day in college. And get my morning work done as soon as possible in college because I'm gonna have 8 a.m. classes like a week, once a week, and pretty early classes, you know. So, gotta make that early time count. But anyway, in the very early mornings, I would I, I would wake up at <clears throat> yeah I wouldn't wake up at 4 a.m. anymore. But in the morning when I woke up, it would be 6 a.m. So that's what I still do today. I I woke up at 6 a.m. today. And the first thing I do is meditation. Now, this is like part of my spiritual win for the four <coughs> wins, and and I think it really helped me realign myself with my values for the day. Like I think the really great thing about doing meditation in like the beginning of the day is that it allows you to connect with your purpose and make sure everything you're doing is worth your time as soon as the day starts, right? Because I used to like when I first started doing the system, I used to do it like. In, in near the end of the day when I when I'd already finished everything and I felt like compared to that it's much more valuable for me to do it at the beginning of the day when I'm more relaxed my heart rate isn't as high due from due to the, all the events of the day and the day hasn't happened yet so I don't have to like spend my time filtering like p pushing away thoughts that and noticing any distractions that come from what happened in that day because it didn't happen yet 
So overall, doing it in the morning was much more calmer and more better for me. I could focus a lot better. So that meditation is 15 minutes long, exactly 15 minutes. And then I would actually get my blood pumping with a very quick core workout. So this may seem awkward, but I don't have many opportunities to work my like the core of my body a lot. When I do running, it's mostly cardiovascular. So what I, wait, what, I don't know if I'll continue the system in college, depending on my roommate situation, of course, but what I would do is, there's nothing here, isn't there? What I would do is I got, I got out my training mat, which is in like the corner of my room. I do like, I do a minute and a half of flutter kicks and about, I don't know about how long time, how long time it takes, in terms of time it takes, but I do 50 push-ups. I actually hit 50 today. I used to do like 30 and I increased it by like one every two days or something in the beginning of the summer and now I'm at 50. So that's my goal accomplished, which is really great. And, but that's only the beginning. Oh yeah, more free leaves. <laughs> that's only the beginning, so. These are very difficult, huh? Okay. Yeah, after I finish this workout, that'll take like three minutes or so. And it'll be like 6.30 or something. And then I'll um, make my daily mass, mass video. So if you don't know, on my mass channel, I post daily mass short form content where I solve an IV question every single day for fun. And it's just for a point of like, you know, sharing some positive content compared to all the brain rot reels out there. <laughs> And that editing that like recording editing all that takes me about 15 minutes only because I try to make the like least put the least amount of work in for these short form content while making them still good videos right so I use automatically automatically generated captions and then edit them afterwards to save time I use the automatic silence the remover feature all that kind of stuff to improve my productivity and unfortunately I don't know if I'll be able to continue this in college because I think I'm about to run out of time that I'm that my plan allows for for the automatically generating the subtitles so if it ends up taking too long to make them manually i'll probably stop making those shorts but tomorrow's gonna be my 30th one which means i've done a full month of them without skipping a day so that's pretty exciting especially on the day that i leave for canada it'll be like exactly my 30th one so i really want to make that one count so i made it like an extra hard question but anyways once i once i edit that it'll be like 6 45 to 7 between there somewhere and once 7 a.m. I, once I see that 7 a.m. has passed, I would um, actually I'm going I I like go on <clears throat> what is it? I I, I go on Lani Kani, the Japanese kanji learning software, and then I study my daily kanji. You know, it's kind of it's not really aligned with the rest of my Japanese studying schedule because I don't nowadays nowadays I don't study Japanese at 5 a.m. in the morning anymore. But trust me, so I, I do my Wani Kani reviews, which takes about five minutes, and then I do my lessons, which takes another five minutes. <clears throat> and the thing about my reviews is that I come up with, I analyze their, I read a blog post that analyzed their space repetition system that Wani Kani uses, and I learned that the best way to do them is review three times a day to avoid like so many reviews cluttering up. And I'm on level nine right now, so I'm not even close to how busy it'll get, but <clears throat> I know it'll definitely get busier. So anyways, I anyways I do Wani Kani for about fifteen minutes. Oops, and then I and then I eat breakfast. Yeah, I I, I eat breakfast from six. No, not six. From around. That could have been very bad. Oh my god. I like those. I I like that reflex. Anyway. I need to get back home, I need to end the episode, where the hell am I? <laughs> there it is, there's work for us. <clears throat> Anyways, I took the... I would eat breakfast around, I got this one, yeah. I didn't? What this? Oh, okay. So I would get, get breakfast around 8 a.m. And then I would finish my the rest of the stuff I had to do. So for example, I had a first year math course that I was finishing for my university. And I did like daily 
progress toward that every single time I could. So that would take me around 40 minutes or so. And then after that, I would <clears throat> go straight to studying Japanese. So I was doing my Japanese lessons for about an hour. So I would do my Japanese lessons around 8 to 9. And then once it was 9 a.m., I decided to put away everything and lie in my bed because I wanted to watch my webtoons, my daily webtoons. This is when my daily webtoon time keeps in. Although I want to mention that, and I mean, actually I'll say this part first. I go to the gym right after that. So I watch my webtoons for an hour daily. And then I go to the gym around... I feel like I've been in this position before, where the hell am I? <laughs> I go to the gym around 6... Yeah, no, 6, 10 a.m. Exactly 10 a.m. is when I leave for the gym. And then... I come back home, I cool down and shower, and by that time it's like 11.30 to 12. Because I sit in between for like 45 minutes, but I gotta commute, I gotta change, all that stuff, so it takes me quite a while. <clears throat> but after that, it's time when my morning, my afternoon, mo mo uh, my afternoon routine basically begins, and then I eat lunch and then start it. But before I get to that point, I want to talk about like one aspect of my webtoon thing. You know, for the entire summer break, for like the past months and a half that I've been adopting this system, I've been going to eat... I've been going to eat my... Um, my... not eat, but watch my webtoons pretty consistently at 9am because I needed that time to recharge after studying Japanese pretty intensely before I went to the gym to run for another 5 kilometers, right? More on that later, but... Yeah, so to prevent that, I would like... Like, I did that all the time, but now for the last two days, so literally starting yesterday, I went to the gym at 9 a.m. instead of- So I switched the positions of my gym and my, my, um, my webtoon routine, so yeah, I kind of switched those up. But I, I prefer this way, I should have done this way earlier. <laughs> Anyways, after that, I would go to... After my, like, at, at the gym, I would do a lot of things. For example, I would run my five kilometers every single day, every single day without missing it, apart from Sundays because the gym's closed. So I would take my, sm take Smiley on a walk or I would go walking by myself, but I would not miss a day of physical activity because that's my physical win, right? For 45 minutes. So I do my 5K run and then I do my arm workout at the gym, which totals to 45 minutes, it's 30 plus 15. However, nowadays my 5K pace is 25 minutes. So I extend the time by doing some stretching and my some warming up by walking. Anyways, after that, I come home from the gym. And actually, during during the gym, when I'm running on the treadmill, I have nothing else to do, right? And I feel like when, I, like when I'm on the treadmill and actively, actively moving my body, I remember information much quicker. So I take advantage of this by completing my mental win at the same time. I watch, one of, I watch you news videos to learn even more tips about how to be better at life overall. And I watch one of those videos every single time I'm on the treadmill. And it also helps me distract myself from the leg pain that I get <laughs> from running 5k every single day. Yeah, so those videos typically last 15 to 25 minutes, and it takes up a majority of the majority of my running time. So I learned something new that way, and I still remember it. So for example, like today I uh, learned about how to how pro fitness keeps me productive a lot. And yeah, I, le I learned a lot of other stuff, so... And the other, the other time I learned about how to like stay positive in regard to everything negative happening around you. So yeah, learned a lot of stuff through um, him. And after my that's done, my morning work, my morning routine is officially over. So I go home, cool down, eat lunch, and then I start to work on my YouTube videos. So for example, the first thing I do after I eat lunch is I record this Minecraft video. Like literally right now, it's like one to two p.m. That's when I record my video. When I'm done, it's around two thirty, and then. It depends because up until yesterday i had to work on a the mass video i had to work on a long form mass video on my mass channel called completing i mean complete guide to getting a seven in ip mass so that took me a very long time and i worked on that every single day for the past two weeks but now today i can take a break and not do it for a day because i have to get ready for canada right so i'm gonna actually use that time that i worked on my mass videos until now to just use more time unpacking so, because I have, to, I have to leave at 6pm, right? I have to go to dinner that I with my friends I told you about earlier. So, using my time even more wisely by scheduling my my daily packing for Canada for an hour. 
earlier because I don't have to edit a mass video anymore. But yeah, that's what I would do when I still had to do that. It was a very recent change because I literally uploaded the video yesterday. It took me so much effort. If you could check it out, that'd be nice. But anyway, if you don't want to, that's completely fine. I don't really mind. But after that, it'll be like once I finished my mass video channel as well, it'll be like 4 p.m. or something. And I'll be like, okay, well, maybe I want to practice some piano or I'll just lie in bed and watch reels or watch YouTube or have fun with, um, hang out with Smiley or whatever. Or if I had a scheduled meeting, it would be like around the late afternoon, so like 3 to 4 p.m. So I would go out and eat, my friend, eat with my friends or hang out with them in a cafe and play ball stars. It would all happen in the afternoon. Like that, this is my prime like hangout time, right? Yeah, that's even up until today, as, can, as what I told you just now. And then, yeah, wow, this episode's getting pretty long. I dragged out my explanations quite a bit, huh? I'll wrap this up pretty quickly. Yeah, if I had band practice, it'll be in the night time, so it doesn't really matter. It's my morning routine. That's why I finish everything in the morning, right? And yeah, in the night time, I'll, I'll play uh, after I eat dinner. I'll play with Smiley or watch videos or do whatever I was free to do because I had nothing else to do. Oh, of course, I'll complete my Wani Kani reviews. So remember how I mentioned, I forgot to tell you about this, but I mentioned how I did Wani Kani reviews three times a day, right? The Japanese Kanji review system. So I did those in the the morning, as part of my morning routine at 7 a.m. And then four hours after that is when the first space repetition would come through, so at around 11 a.m. So after I come home from the gym, when I'm lying down on my phone, I spend the time to cool down with my fan in front of me with the AC on and do my reviews. It takes about five minutes. minutes. And then... In the night time, that's, that's 8 hours later, so at 7 p.m., that's when my third review hits. Now, tonight I'm going to be outside, so I'm probably going to be pretty late to them, but it's okay. So yeah, that's around 5 more minutes in the night time that I spend. So three, 3 times a day doing those reviews. And then I do my journaling. So I do my journaling. I used to do meditation at this time, but now I don't have to do that in, because I already did it in the morning. So I do my journaling daily. That's my honest accountability win. I did that 15 minutes in this night time. And then I'm truly free of everything that I have to do, so I turn on Genshin, I join Discord VC with my friends, and I hang out with them or do whatever, whatever I feel like doing until I go to sleep. And speaking about sleep, I go to sleep around 10 a.m. nowadays instead of 9 because sometimes 11, like 10 to 11 p.m. is my optimal sleep time now because I wake up early, later, right? I wake up at 6. So even if I sleep at 10 to 11 p.m., I'm still getting those 7 hours, 7 to 8 hours of sleep every night, so pretty good. But yeah, I, I hopefully, I, I know I rushed through the last part, but that's because I wanted to keep this video under an hour. <laughs> but overall, I had fun talking about it. That, that's my morning, my daily routine, and my productivity is one of my strengths, I feel like. And I can still improve it a lot, but right now, I even like it where it is. Hopefully, I can just keep, keep it up when I'm in college. I truly want to. But uh, overall, thank you so much for watching. That's gonna do it for this episode. Tomorrow is gonna be the last episode of this series for now. I'm not going to delete the world. I'll probably come back to it next year when I come back to Korea. But for now, that's going to do it for the end of this video. I'll see you tomorrow when we beat the Ender Dragon. I have everything prepared already. Like the potions, the stronghold, everything, right? So all, all you have to do is go in there and beat it. So once again, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day or night. And I'll see you in the next video. Like and subscribe. Goodbye.